Hello, Jack. This is your Natural Tennis Solutions online lesson. So you're working on your oblique and you're working on your lat stretch, tossing the ball up and getting that stretch to go. So the next piece that I will probably tell you to start working on will be to get yourself to use your legs a little bit more. I know you had told me you had some kind of lower back issue. So um, with the legs, what I normally teach is going to be the toes. I'm actually going to put a video out on this soon. Um, toes. So the premise behind the toes is you're going to get a little bit of a pull inward like this. So you can push outward like that. And it's really just stretching the quads. The quads get stretched. So I pull in to push out. And then this right here stretches the quads. If you notice, I'm going onto my toes when I do this. So I'm pulling in a little bit and that should look familiar when, when the pros are setting up for their serve, they go into this setup and they kind of pull inward first. They go inward first, but it's the lower body doing this particular move to push out into that particular move. So as you can see, my back stays straight. I don't bend it and arc it at all. I just go onto my toes and push my knees out. If you can only do it a little bit, push the knees out a little, just a little bit, that's good enough. That's good enough. It's just a little bit of a, of a stretch of the quads to get you to go into this position so that it can unload into that position and just go that way into the court. Because what's happening is you're getting your stretch right here, right? This stretch goes in. This stretch goes in as well as that stretch. So now you have added two stretches to your serve. You've gotten this side of your body to stretch and then you've also gotten the quads to stretch. So now you're unloading from the quads, from the quads up and into that. So all of this becomes a matter of trying to get these different stretches to go together. So I have myself going into this and that. And I'm trying to push myself over and I'm pushing myself over to the right at a 45 degree angle. So right now, this being the baseline, a 45 degree angle going out that way off of the baseline. This would be your 90 right there, 45. So I'm getting myself to get the stretches and the stretches and I'm pushing myself out this way. I want you to just practice it like that. Just get yourself to push yourself out toward the 45. Notice I'm just going toward the 45. If I add the racket, I'm going to push myself out toward the 45. Even my arm, everything is going out toward the 45. Nothing goes forward. I am not doing anything like this. I'm not pushing anything forward. Everything goes out to the 45. So I am just going and pushing all of that. I'm going to stretch this, I'm going to stretch the toes, toes, everything gets pushed out toward the 45. That is the main thing you got to remember. So hopefully the finished product, I know your big concern is getting the drop to happen. The finished product, if, if I'm correct in thinking what I, what I really need to get you to do, don't jump the gun, I'm just showing you what is going through my head right now, is that you're going to get into this position. And what I'm going to make you realize is that your elbow is the key to getting your drop to be good. So in getting these two positions, your elbow being here, now you're going to go up with this elbow because your body's going to push it. Remember that your body right now, we're getting your body prepped so that it can push this elbow. So you're going to go into this. The elbow is going to get pushed up. And if you notice, my elbow is facing the back fence right now. That is what you're going to be doing. But it's up here. See it? Since it's up, that drops my racket. That's the big secret to dropping the racket. By making yourself prioritize the elbow being pushed up and facing the back fence. So notice, I'm not saying push the elbow up 
and be over here where it's facing the side fence or push the elbow up and face the front. It's push the elbow up and face the back fence. That will get your drop to be where you want it to be. If you want to look up a few of the pro videos with their serves, you can look them up, look for that elbow up. You will see it, that elbow goes up and think about it, it's natural that when the elbow goes up, the racket's gonna drop because the hand is here. So it's, if I'm, if I'm serving this direction and I get into these positions, I get this and I go with the elbow up, look at my drop. I'm not thinking drop my racket right now, it just happens because my elbow is up. So I think I have the plan for you, but again, we're going in steps. So hopefully you got the Latin oblique stretch then you get the stretch in the quads, and then the next thing will be pop in that elbow. You pop that elbow and you're gonna have your drop, the drop that you've been dreaming of. All right, so hopefully this helps you out. Keep practicing, I will see you soon.